on the day I saw you. I really, really want to catch your eye. There's something special about you. And I must really like you. Cause not a lot of guys are worth my time. Oh, Ooh, baby, baby, baby. It's getting kind of crazy. Cause you are taking over my mind. And it feels like. Hello Aries, so this is your weekly reading. I'm going to be starting with the tarot. Okay, so universe, what's going to be the current energy between Aries and the person that will be in Aries' mind for the rest of this week? Ooh, okay. Okay, eight of cups in reverse, ten of cups in reverse, the four in reverse. So someone is not happy where they at. Okay, um, this person is trying to return. That's what else I'm getting. Or this could also be what I'm getting here. It's like probably you gave someone the chance and now you don't want to continue to deal with them. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that will be on Aries' mind. What would this person like to say to Aries? The tower. Okay, so it could be someone current, like not necessarily ex. But this could be a current person that you guys was talking, dealing with. I see um, you guys are realizing they have another side to them. Because this is what they like to say, the tower. So I feel like this person could be verbally abusive. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person will be on Aries' mind. Where will this person keep hidden from Aries? Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like it was more so their true self. And I feel like since they feel comfortable with you, they think that like, you know, you was going to stay with their BS, with their abuse or whatever. Um, but I feel like this is their true self coming out. And I feel like you guys are just going to walk away from them. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that would be on Aries line. How would this person feel about Aries? Two of Pentacles. Uh, so this person act really different. So probably before they used to be very caring. So, hmm. So ever since this argument or fight, I feel like they're a little bit ambivalent, okay? So this is someone who have anger issues, but they was really, it's weird though, because it's like they was in representative mode. But probably you pick up signs, but it never got to this level, okay? Universe, the person will be on Aries' mind. What are this person's true feelings for Aries? Universal personality on Aries mind. What is this person's true feelings for Aries? The world. Okay. They okay. So this person. Uh, so this person did this on I'm getting on purpose a little bit because their true feelings, the world is an ending. They know that if they push it to this limit that you was gonna walk away probably. Okay, let's look at their intentions. Universe, the person that will be on Aries mind, what is this person's intentions? Knight of Wands. It's about being inconsistent. Universe, the person that will be on Aries' mind. What action will this person take with Aries? Two of Wands, Page of Cups. Universe, cup by Two of Wands, the Devil of Four of Cups. Yeah, so this person's, I feel like, was petty or like they pushed things too far and they did that so they can make you feel a way. That's what I'm getting. Or they can feel like they're the one that end things because they're the one who was with, like, escalate things. Okay? So, I'm getting this week, this person might be very, very petty. Okay? Or they might be very abusive, like, verbally abusive. So, if you are picking up on the red flags, I feel like we're trying to say it's just more so, like, detaching from this person and connecting with the right um, person or just keeping your options open that for better options okay because i'm just seeing this person's like abusive okay universe cover for the knight of wands universe cover for the knight of wands king of swords their intentions universe cover for the king of swords okay universe cover for the king of swords universe cover for the king of swords Universe cup by King of Swords. The lovers. Universe cup of lovers. Universe cup by the lovers. Universe cup of the lovers. Empress in reverse. 
it's weird. I'm having other messages. Probably this person. Probably this person was also like misleading you too. Probably this person had a connection with someone else. Um, or it could just be like they was in representative mode. Okay. Um, they was acting one way and now they flip. Ever since you've been like dealing with them more exclusively. Okay. But what I'm going to hear is that their true self is going to be revealed very soon. If you guys can are picking up on the red flags, which is trying to say really like cut ties so it doesn't escalate okay so let's look at look here okay so universe you have three cards friend what messages do you have for Aries for this week? Universe needs to record some messages you have for Aries for this week. All right, Universe needs big cards, but what messages do you have for Aries this week? Universe, give me two more cards. Universe, give me one more card. So, first position, there is cup. You should set valid criticism. And then seahorse family matters. Okay, probably there was a family member or a friend that was telling you, like, you should pay attention to them. Um, pay attention to the red flags, crown. Honor and respect will come to you and pineapple reconciliation. Probably this already happened. And this person thinking that you're going to give them another chance um, later. And this is now, the time is later now. So they're trying to see if you guys can rehash or reconcile. And then there's grapes. Time to go out and have fun. And towards spiritual development, alignment, awareness, and understanding. And then there is teapot. Do friendship with someone of the same sex. And then July. I do see you have another person on the, not on the sound side. But you have another person who want to be with you. Um, you might entertain this person. That's what I'm getting here. Especially, yeah, this person want to take you out. This connection kind of could be spiritual. Right, this person is spiritual. Okay. So let's look at the singles. And I'm going to go to the all signs. Pop up, great fortune. All right, universe, give me a three card spread. Okay, universe, what do you want Aries singles to know at this moment when it comes to their love life? Universe, give me two more cards. What do you want single Aries to know at this moment when it comes to their love life? Okay, so Gen Energy is Thief. Then there's journey, lovers, poverty, and concern. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. Poverty, lover, concern. Okay. So for the singles, you have someone where you connect with them. There's chemistry here, but they're not checking a major criteria for you when it comes to you dating or being in a relationship with them. Okay. This person could be like not financially stable. Okay, um, this person could have, um, what can I say, could have a criminal record as well. So even though there's chemistry there, I feel like you're going to be a little apprehensive. Okay, now I do got great fortune. Let's see what it's about. Universe, that's like great fortune. Ooh, send a walk. You got money coming. That's the random message there. <laughs> but when it comes to love, I just see you guys. Have chemistry with someone, but there's they're not checking something major for you, okay? So I feel like we're trying to say it's like not to settle, okay? Let's look at the general messages. The 
universe give me a three card spread i want to just see you have for aries for this week so there's indecisiveness like okay, growth want to come out reverse the universe give me one more card and envy and then acceptance the universe clarify acceptance change okay so here is yeah here's trying to say don't repeat certain things learn the lesson don't repeat it also it's trying to say again don't settle when you see something like you don't see a future with them or um you you just feel like that's like something that you experienced before and if you were to entertain it you know where it's gonna go i feel like we're trying to say just to not settle um be patient which is hard <laughs> Okay, as a fire sign, but be patient. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, I do got envy. That's what it's about. Universe cover envy. Trust. Oh, not trust everyone. That's interesting because I did got the thief card and the capper deck. Be careful of even lovers who might be jealous of you as well. Okay, let's look at the all signs. Okay, so I'm going to be using this deck what's this one okay so you guys what's going to happen with aries and aries so there's cancer and then there is don't spend too much time in contemplation for your favorite action and then there's sacrifices so it's, it's telling you um, you need to make a final decision regarding another Aries. Okay, so it's about universe is going to happen with Aries and Aries. So there's club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Wow. So that could be that newer connection. This person don't have um, pure intentions, funnel, pure frustration, lessons to be learned. Yeah, it's trying to say not to repeat certain lessons. Wow. Okay, let's look at Taurus. Okay, you guys, what's going to happen with Aries and Taurus? You guys, what's going to happen with Aries and Taurus? Okay, so that's a magician. And then it is you always have a choice. So you guys have another option. I will see that in the main messages. Well, great word over nothing. And then there is camel preserving. You will overcome your problems. I feel like we're trying to say, like, not to take bait. Don't stoop down to their level. Whether this person abusive, um, this person is petty, like just stop connecting with them completely. Okay, let's look at Gemini. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Gemini. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Gemini. So there is the moon and the high fence. Universe is going to happen. So I will. Good advice from a wise press person. And then March. Okay, so I feel like with Gemini, nothing really major really happened. But you can pick up on some signs. And probably you're talking to your family members or friends who's telling you, like, they're giving you, like, great advice. And I feel like we're trying to say just put that in consideration. The moon does represent emotions and attachment. So I feel like we're trying to say, like, make sure, like, before you attach, this person's actually true like they're they're really in their true self okay they're not in a representative mode okay so that's what i'm saying but i do see this gemini wanting to be in a relationship too let's look at cancer all right universe what's going to happen with aries and cancer have no fear don't spend too much time on contemplation fortune favorite action the star and ace of cups and the repentance Okay, so this could have already happened because I see they want to apologize. So let's look. Universe, what's going to happen with Aries and Cancer? Fly up here, ill health and depression, and uh, basket playing material things. Yeah, this person also could be a user or they just draining. Okay, they could be an energy vampire. I don't feel like this person's at your level. That's what I'm getting here. If this is resonating, especially the main message all right let's look at leo the 
okay universe it's going to happen with aries and leo it is shadows you to and permit okay yeah so this person have an anger issue abusive universe may this probably already happened universe stuff i love club someone will try to do something against your will so here i'm getting more like probably they have anger issue or they're just um very abusive but here it's picking up on that newer energy that some of you guys are going to be um connecting to or someone um someone don't have good intentions so it could be either or some of you guys are dealing with a new or a um or this is an energy relating to someone who was very abusive, but you cut them off. That's returning. Okay. So let's look at Virgo. All right. So you know what's going to happen with Aries and Virgo? You know what's going to happen with Aries and Virgo? So there's the Ace of Cups and then fears make you question it. Okay, so here you don't really trust it really. You want to see if they really who they say they are. Crown honor respect will come to you. This person is throwing a test too. I feel like this person will respect you as well. I feel like the really the ball is in your court and you like you're gonna be the one that have the power in this situation. Okay, let's look at Libra. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Libra. So there is just be alone for now, develop your craft, and then trust your intuition. Okay. So probably your intuition was telling you like this is not the one. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Libra. So there is um, caterpillar, things will not always be displayed. A change is coming. And then there is rat, someone working against you behind your back. Wow. So this person will be jealous of you. So even though you guys are just lovers jealous i see that you guys are picking up on you pick up on the red flags and that's why you guys are going to separate from them let's look at um scorpio universe is going to happen with aries and scorpio money opportunity and virgo this person opportunistic why are they very selfish vine seek out information that will help you and it's like a snake too, but it's like a vine. Um, and then there is Mountain Road. You want to roll success. Yeah, so they might be a Scorpio that is very opportunistic. Um, who's not really, who's not trying to connect with you for pure reasons to fall in love. It's more so like, probably like, for example, you are like, you are really top tier person. They want to be with you for like an ego stroke or to feel like they going to be accepted to society more that's what i'm getting here i just see them they don't have really pure intentions so let's look at um sagittarius all right so universe what's going to happen with aries and sagittarius gemini hierophant you might feel like this person wants something or they say something but they do the opposite Universe is going to happen with Aries and Sagittarius. So there's vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that's something against you. Um, also, I'm getting here, probably when they're going through stuff, they like to take it out on you. And then there is heart, great happiness. Yeah. So this could be someone who don't like to see like you doing good and they not doing well and like to like throw, sh throw stuff at you, basically. Okay. Let's look at... Capricorn. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Capricorn. So there's Hill and Two of Cups. Yeah, so probably what they did, they really pushed it too far. So even though there was deep feelings, you're going to be choosing you first. This could have already happened too. And then there's Brim, New Home, New Attitude. I do see you either, um, yeah, some of you guys probably um, live together, but you are going to be thinking about moving out, okay? So let's look at Aquarius.
Okay. So universe, what's going to happen with Aries and Aquarius? So there is the Hierophant and Leo. Okay. So Leo is opposite of Aquarius. So there might be, yes, opposition. Bull. Do not back down so strength and fortitude. Yeah. So this person was trying to see if they can control you or yeah, control you or think that they have power over you. And that's not the case. Um, so this person could have been, again, very like um, confrontational, but you didn't back down. <laughs> okay, you, you, you stand up for yourself. That's what I'm getting here. Um, Dennis Crown, honor and respect will come to you. So yeah, I feel like they try with the wrong person. That's what I'm getting here. Let's look at Pisces. All right, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Pisces. The full, then there is happy home. Interesting. So this is like a different vibe. Okay. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Pisces. So there is older man, a dealing relationship with an older man. And then there is Mountain Road. You're on the road to stop. So here's a different message. So let's just say the main tarot message mess, um, resonate with you. And the person that was doing that was a Pisces. I feel like we're trying to say, like, you are on the road to success, not only in your career, but in finance, but being in a successful relationship, having exactly what you want in your next relationship. I feel like what, again, the message is to not settle. So for what I'm getting, for not only areas that's done with Pisces, but overall, if it's resonating, it's trying to say don't settle, not set less, don't set bs abuse anything like that okay so that's the reading that i have for you aries thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queen for the tarot at gmail.com